Hello, and welcome to English 1213 Online. This semester, we'll, we'll, we will be exploring strategies and styles of research and writing for academic purposes. The goal of this course is to help you establish a system for research that you can apply to future classes you take here at OSU. And since this is an online course, and pretty much everything you do in an online setting occurs through writing, you actually have an advantage in that even when we're just discussing ideas and concepts, we're doing it through written communication. You can't help but practice your writing skills. But before we begin, I'd like to show you around the class a bit so you know where everything is. First, this is a home page. This is what you'll see when you first click on the course in D2L. Uh, on this page, you have a few important features, including the news section. This will always let you know where we're at in the class, uh, what week we're in, um, what the dates are, and what's going on that week. So you want to make sure that each Monday morning you check out the news post for the week to make sure that you are up to date on all the assignments and anything that's going on. Uh, you'll also see on the right hand side, once we get into the class um, a couple of weeks, the groups, um, which group you're in, will be dividing up into research groups based on what topic you're choosing to work with during the semester. So you'll see your group members along with links to their blogs over on the right. Um, you will be required to keep a blog and we'll talk about that later. Uh, but this is where you can access each other's blogs. Um, you simply click on any of these links and you'll be taken to the blog. Um, you also have easy access to each week's content in the content browser. There are other ways to get to that as well. Um, and you'll have a calendar where you'll see what's coming up, what's due. Uh, usually, um, if there's a discussion question due or an essay due, you'll see that here in the calendar. So most of the content for the course is under course content. So if you click on course content, you'll be taken to the uh, table of contents for the entire course. You'll notice that first you have the course information. This is where you'll find the online course overview, which goes over some of the same features I'm showing you right now. Uh, but it's in written form, in case that's easier for you. Um, there's also the syllabus, and then again, a, uh, a web page that gives you links to your group mates' blogs. This is core general course information. Under that, you'll see that the course is divided up into weeks. So even though this is an online course, you still have a schedule and there are still deadlines that occur each week in the course. And a sample of a week is, well, we can look at week one. Um, there was always going to be a week one assignments or a week two assignments, week three assignments. That's going to be the first link and that'll give you an overview of what all you need to do that week. So let's click on that. This week you need to read the syllabus, the online course overview, the blog guidelines, and the DBQ guidelines, the discussion board question guidelines. If there is a required reading from the textbook, which there usually will be, that will be assigned in this section as well. Um, there's also a discussion board question response required each week. Um, so that's where this will be posted. And your blog, you'll also be required to post on your blog once a week. So this is just broken down. Uh, every week will look basically the same. You'll have what you need to read, what you need to post in terms of the discussion board, and what you need to post in terms of the blog. Uh, if there's an essay due, that will also be posted down here. All right, and then you'll have any assigned reading that I'm providing you, like the online course overview this week or the syllabus, or if I have prepared a lecture or some notes for you, you'll have that linked here. Uh, these are all the required readings for this week, as you can see. Uh, then there's a link to the discussion board question, your blog post prompt, and this week you have also to do a introduction on the discussion board. This is where you'll introduce yourself and 
tell the rest of the class and me a little bit about your background. Uh, you'll also need to post a link to your blog. But this is all information that you will get into once you start reading some of the course documents. Let's look now at uh, a discussion. You can access the discussion for the week either by clicking on the link in that module or you can look at all of the discussions simply by clicking on discussions up here. You'll see that discussion board question one is written out here. That is for week one. This is for week two. And then once we get into week three, we'll actually be posting in smaller groups. So this is the discussion board. The assignments you can find under course content when they are due, or you can simply click on Dropbox and access any of the assignments here. Mine looks a little bit different from yours because I have the instructor view, and so you won't have some of these options here, but it'll look basically the same. Another important link you'll probably be using a lot is the grades. Um, you'll click on your grades anytime that you want to see where you're at with your discussion posts or your blog posts uh, and essays. You can also access the class list um, in case you want to get a hold of any of your group members or if you need to email me. My email is right here, but you can also email me uh, through the class list. So now that you know how to navigate the course, I hope to hear from you soon on the discussion board. Welcome to the class and good luck this semester.